Hello everybody, this is Kevin back with Inspiring How You See That. So today we're back again with Trace and we're gonna be helping you guys out with a little bit of the marketing again as far as the side for your player. Um, this isn't of course for me, uh, I'm just a videographer and the specialist as far as that kind of helps you guys out there for your players and you know you to help your players out as far as to get them recognized. So the question is about the create a playlist. How do you, you know, how do you create a playlist? What's good for the playlist? And how do these work? So basically a playlist is something that you or your player will create. Now, if you have a younger player that's using Trace and they're not as familiar with it, you may want to sit down with them, watch this video um, and work on it together. But as your player gets older, this is probably good for them to do themselves because then that also helps them go through the content of the videos or the games that they've played and realize some of the things that maybe they've done wrong or or they've done right, you know, because sometimes players some, sometimes don't think they did as well as they did in a game when they actually did. And or they, you know, didn't see some things that, you know, they could be better at. Uh, but this does really help when your player does it themselves. So if you're wanting to create a playlist, have your player just click the playlist. And when they go into the playlist, it's it's good to have a short playlist. So if you if you have a certain position on the ball, if it was a uh, a, a pass, a, you know, passing for a game, and you just want to put passing plays or um, defensive play. Whatever it may be, it should only be one or two words, and you can always change these different colors and, and set them up, basically. I'm not going to set them up through my profile because I'm not a player. I am, as I said, I'm just the uh, tech as far as helping you guys out there, but the player will want to set these up. So let's say your player is, uh, has one game. It's always good just to pull the plays from one game. That's the way I like to do it. Uh, or you can just kind of, if you have players that just like to basically put in a playlist where they've played um, a certain position and they've stopped a play or created a play, you can just name that. So once they name that, you will you'll have the playlist here. So the once the playlist is created and you have your videos and you're going through, the next tip is you can go through your game. So if you're going through a game and you have your players in there and they have the highlights. So if they want to go through and save a highlight on a game. Okay, so we are uh, here on the, the game. So we're gonna be talking about again, the course, the highlight. So you can always go to a previous highlight or you can go to a next highlight. Um, so I mean, let's say your player has already found a highlight and they're ready, so they just click save. That will actually go into It'll save that portion of the highlight. It might be a 10, 20 seconds. Sometimes they are a little bit longer, but you can put them right into the, the showcase that you have. And of course, as you see, I don't have any created showcases, but if the player wants to name their showcase, as I said, uh, let's say this is a different game and they just put uh, position off the ball or, you know, we're, you know, at uh, a defensive play and they want to save that so they can just create that highlight, put it in there. And it's always good to have a at least a you know five to 12 second highlight. You don't have to put them all together. The coaches really just want to see the quick highlight where you were um, on the ball or what you did even within the play. It, it doesn't really matter. You know, let's say you're just in here and you just all of a sudden just score. Um, it may look good scoring the ball all the time, but they, you know, sometimes coaches are just looking for either a good defensive play, what what you did, what what you were observing on the field. So there's a number of different parameter points. So there might be something that you think isn't that good, or your player might think that it wasn't a good play. But sometimes it's actually good to save it in your highlight reel as far as look where you were at, look where you were at in a position. Was there where you play in your position? Um, did you do what you were supposed to do? So I would save that, save that uh, into your highlights. So that's just basically how to create a highlight. And I would say, do your highlights 
as soon as you can after the game has been done and um, recorded. So that way you don't fall behind. Um, that's just a tip as far as kind of a timing point. And then two, you're, as soon as you get them, you know, edited and put into the, the highlight reel, you never know. Coaches could be looking at it right away. So we hope that helps within the highlights. We'll be talking about a lot more stuff within Trace and trying to help you out with the, the tips, the tech tips, the marketing. Uh, there's, there's a lot within this that we can help you out with. And we'll see you on the next video.